When you die, I watch the clouds form white fists of static. And they pound it against the sky to turn the color of a bruised infant. Prayers became the rumors I warned myself not to believe. So I ripped the grief from my clenched teeth and shoved it down a hummingbird's throat. A week later, I attended that shit parade of your funeral. Every lying junkie fuck was there, shuffling past your doom waxed shadow, each one silently swearing to themselves, I'll never touch that shit again. The dress I wore that day still hangs in my closet. I've never been able to get the slump out of its shoulders. For weeks, I hid in my room behind the disillusioned hopes of your return and the sound of God's arms breaking. Sometimes I imagined you knocking on my door, bent halo shoved in your pocket, wings folded underneath your t-shirt like stillborn origamis. My head no longer filled with the blue noise of your death as you held out your hand, asking me to watch another barbed wire sunrise. And we'd sit there on your porch, silent, watching angels thrash and snag in its rays, listening to their wings snap like a child ignored for the very last time. But truth has since waltzed her way into my home, uninvited, unwelcome, and I am left with no other choice but to press my ear against the gray hulls of the moon, straining to hear the faintest echo of your smile. I step into your scent, and I shrink like that unforgiven word. Sometimes here, a similar laugh that clings in my chest like mechanical heart failure. And when the wind hits just right, my pulse begins to weaken as the dizzying gas of the afterlife clings to the rims of my eyelids. And I pray, I pray that in two more years, your death will be neatly tucked between the pages of a picture book about silence, your name forgotten, a mere gleam in the eye of a flying hammer hurricane. And I will think of you only when I walk backwards the scars on your breath are no longer 